YouTube followers. I want to welcome you back to Living Life the Briar's Way. I am Ashley Briar, and if you haven't already, before we even get started into this next video, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe, and ring the bell so that you don't miss any of the most amazing things that you can possibly see from my family come your way. And if you didn't watch our first video, you might want to, so this will make a little bit more sense to you. Um, but I know a lot of you are probably thinking, man, that was that was a cliffhanger. Like, whoa, sis, that was a way to end the video. Um, and you're probably expecting this video to be the continuance of the last one. But let me just be very honest with you guys. Um, this channel is for me and the kids, and I make sure that I include the kids. And we have to be honest with ourselves in this time. Um, what happened after the, the first video, um, it was it was a lot for us. Um, and we're not quite ready yet to revisit those memories, but what we are ready to do is show you who Bedford Jr. Bride was, period. In the good, in the bad, in the ugly, he had some struggles, he had some ups and downs, but for the most part, he was a pretty dope dude. So. We're going to go back and reflect on some of the fun times, happy moments, um, some of the things that he had to go through leading up to the last, the ending of the last video. Um, but we want to keep it to a point where you guys stay engaged with us and understand the process that he went through and know that this was not just a man who worked hard and had a family, but he was just an amazing person inside and out. He loved to have fun, um, and he loved to have a good time. So, with that being said, y'all stay tuned to this next video. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you laugh. You might shed a tear, but for the most part, I just want you to get a clear understanding that trust and believe me. If you like, if you comment, if you subscribe and ring the bell, you will see the continuation of the first video. But right now, please respect myself and my children. Um, with not being quite ready to go live those moments all over again because it's, it's very tough for me to go back and look at videos even now to bring to you of things that we've done in the past and I just I just need some time we need some time um, and I want to thank everyone that has already subscribed to our channel left comments we really appreciate you um, for those who have started following us on social media platforms, we love you. Thank you. Um, but right now, let's jump into this video. I hope y'all enjoy. Peace. She lives a boss's life. Her hair stay tight. She won't move unless the price is right. She's fly. She's a hustler. As y'all can see, he didn't need no help. He could party by himself. That was Jules, okay? Jules knew how to dance. He loved to dance. And he didn't need anybody to be there with him to show him the way, okay? But I enjoyed capturing that moment of him because um, that was our first um, time celebrating his birthday. Um, we were we had dated and we separated for a year then we got back together so when something is meant to be it will come back around but anyways yes that was our first birthday well his birthday celebrating together and he 
was drunk, y'all. I didn't get no after pictures because I had to carry him home. Me and his friends had to put him in the car and get him in the hotel room. So I didn't get it. I didn't get him in the aftermath. But y'all can see he enjoyed. He really, really enjoyed himself. So this next clip, I used to pick on him and I used to tell him that he could never plan or get me as far as surprising me with the perfect proposal. And y'all, I think he nailed it. He nailed it a little too good because he incorporated a lot of stuff that we talked about when we were talking on the phone late night. Um, he listened and the attention to detail um, all the way down to the planning of the restaurant, having people around us record from different angles, like bringing my friend in, like y'all check it out. Y'all let me know what y'all think. But I think he nailed it and he made me put my foot in my mouth because he even put the icing on the cake with my skybox game with my favorite team. Y'all check it out. Let me know what you think. What do y'all think? Did he nail it or did he nail it? I believe he did an amazing job. If he can make me cry in any situation, he knew he had my heart for real. So that was our proposal. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, but I, I hate to kind of flip it a little bit because shortly after our proposal, we got um, engaged on April 11th of 2017. And then on May 17th of 2017, um, he was admitted in the hospital because he had a heart attack at work at his desk. Um, we found out that he had four clogged arteries in his heart. So he had to go um, through an open heart surgery, which once the surgery was over, um, he went into a coma. So the next few things that you're about to see is something I never thought that he would be open with me sharing with y'all because it was a very very um rough time for me his family um to see him go through um especially um 
especially after just knowing what he was trying to accomplish and being in a coma for seven weeks that's a long time to not be able to respond or just change he changed like he went in with the ball head i'm gonna show you what he looked like he had weight on him um and then at the end he didn't look like the same person but he said raw he said real i'm gonna give y'all raw i'm gonna give y'all real so y'all check this out just a little sneak peek of his transition from when he went in um pretty much what he looked like when he was in icu um but this is the start of yeah how we ended y'all stay tuned So, let me just say that um, reliving this is not easy. So, y'all need to really understand that this was hard times. Um, hard times. Um, oh, boy. Um, Making this video is difficult, you guys, um, because as you can see, he, like I said before, he changed, but he still got back up. He still got back up, and he told me that he was going to walk out of the hospital, and he was going to marry me. He was going to be the husband that I needed, and he was. And after a seven week coma, he walked out of the hospital. And in the last picture you see, he's standing in the soup, he went back to work. Um, after he did his rehab, well, after I rehabilitated him at home because he refused to go to a rehab center. And the help of nurses from Pima Hospital in Atlanta, he got him back on his feet. And as soon as this man felt like he was strong, just a little bit, he went back to work for his family. And he married me. And we didn't have the wedding that we wanted to have. And it was just something sweet for me and the kids and him. He just wanted something special for us. So here's some pictures of our special day. Whoa.
that was our October 18, 2017. The day that I became Ashley Breyer. And it couldn't have been no better than what it was. It was just simple. It was perfect. And didn't take much for some flower headbands that I created myself. Um, button up white t-shirts for the boys and jeans and slacks and ties. A funny judge in Clayton County Courthouse. A beautiful courthouse inside and out. Um, and just us. And no matter what we thought we wanted, I believe that that's what God thought that we needed. And that was just us. So we would know and we would appreciate that, you know, it doesn't matter um, the size of a wedding and who is in attendance. As long as you have each other, that's all you need. Um, so I hope y'all enjoyed that because it that really kind of lightened up the weight because I was kind of broken from the first couple of clips um, of this video. So um, I know it kind of got me back together. I was boohooing over here. Um, so I hope it kind of gathered you guys back up and together um, so that we can get ready for um, the completion of this video. And I'm, I'm going to probably have to do this in a part two because it's a lot of stuff that we can reflect on when it comes down to Bedford Jules Breyer because he was just that dope. Um, but I want to make sure that I start out this part one with the things that well I won't say things I would say the foundation that he laid for his family and um, when he got out of surgery not only did he want to marry me he wanted a baby and it was a real challenge for us it took us a year and a half um, to get a baby and I never I never had a problem conceiving kids before so the challenge not only was for me but it was for him because he was on a lot of different medications after the surgery um that you know kind of affected the you know the process so it was a lot of crying it was a lot of frustration it was a lot of arguing it was just a lot of things that you know relationships and couples go through and challenges of having a kid and he was so determined and with his determination we got this little wonder joy right here y'all check it out Girl, 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 girl. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, now you want nothing? You ain't got nothing to say? You uh, was talking, just was talking. Uh, 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 what you got to say? You moving too fast for me. Can you slow down? Can you slow down for me? You moving too fast. Ariel, you're moving too fast for me. No, you cannot. You're moving too fast. Can you slow down? You gotta slow down. You gotta slow down, mommy. Okay. You're doing too much. Yeah, you do it too much. You don't think so? You don't think so? Get your head out your mouth. Oh, yeah? Um, a year. Oh, we've been together for 40 years. Okay. Yeah, dude. This is how yeah. we're just going to do it. She's looking at it like she knows what she's doing. She's looking at it like she knows what she's doing. Really? You alright? You gotta hold her hand, babe. I ain't doing it yet. Yeah, you might have to hold her hand.
Wait, 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 Get baby shots. Y'all know I just find out about baby shots. It's so hot. 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 Turn around, let me see. Ah, sucky, sucky oh. now. <laughs> Look at you. Hey. Look at you. the world just as happy as she wanted to be just as beautiful as she was um and i'm grateful that i was able to bless him with that gift um it really changed his life majorly i don't think that he really knew what he was in store for you know with being there from the beginning of the pregnancy all the way to the end um it was definitely sometimes a challenge for him because trust me i wasn't a bad i wasn't a bad pregnant wife i must say i can say that now be honest babe he'll speak to y'all spirit and let y'all know what i'm saying is if it's true or false but um i think i was a pretty good pregnant wife i didn't i didn't do too bad i did want my waffle house at like two in the morning sometimes but it didn't take him out of the bed because he worked that late at night so he was always on the way home but he would stop and he would make sure I have my waffle house and he would come home and talk to her um and it's like she knew she knew him when she came out she looked right at him and she would never take her eyes off of him so to me that was a bond that was already created and it was nothing I can ever break so with that being said you guys I think I'm going to stop this right here um 
and I'm gonna pick it up with a part two of you know reflecting on Bedford Jules Bar Jr. My husband, um, an amazing man, an amazing father, um, and I, I believe that this is probably gonna be a lengthy um, reflection, couple of videos because it's a lot. I'm telling you, I got a lot of content that you will really need to know and you probably will want to know so that you can get to know him in a different um in a different eye and just in a different way besides watching us on social media and on facebook and on instagram and seeing pictures it's like we did things we didn't just get dressed up and go out all the time we had good times we had bad times um we had some some issues in our marriage you know that never caused us to have to break up or leave one another but challenges you know from our past that we had to bring to our present and actually face so i really would like for you guys to come along with us so if you haven't already please take a moment like comment subscribe ring the bell and meet me here i'm going to try to get the next video up in a week but y'all i just started back in the salon it has been hectic. I am grateful I'm not complaining, but at the same time, I'm trying to get a video out at least once a week, if not twice a week. So just bear with me, but it gives it a time for, you know, you guys to share it, you know, share it, share it with your friends, share it with your family. Um, let them know that, you know, even if they've lost a loved one, um, you can still get through it. You can still press through it, but at the same time, grieve, have emotions, cry, get it out because that's a part of healing. So i do respect you guys i thank you guys for watching and i will see y'all soon with part two of reflecting benford jr Breyer. and i just you know i hope that this was something for you guys that healed your heart and blessed you in a major way i'm ashley Breyer. peace out excited to be telling you about the song she's a hustler by scorella featuring blue man i absolutely love this song because it has so much meaning to it so whether you are a doctor lawyer teacher nurse working any nine to five or you have your own business entrepreneur go get her grinder hustler you do what you have to do to get it done so first of all shout out to all my independent women out there making that sure that they are a hustler themselves also shout out to scorella for making this song a hit this is definitely a song you do not want to miss out on so go check it out now Oh, like a slug